What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to summarize PDF documents using large language models and LangChain in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to summarize PDF documents in Python by using large language models and LangChain. And for this, I have two documents in this directory here. I have one time the attention is all you need paper, which is quite popular. A lot of you guys will already know about this. Um, it's the transformer paper. Basically, this is the first one. And the second one is a paper that I got a random paper that I got from archive uh, today, I think it was published today, or at least quite recently, I called it new.pdf. I'm not even sure what it is about. It's a pre trained graph based model for adaptive sequencing of educational documents. So that's just some paper that was uh, released quite recently, I wanted to use something that is not already in the knowledge base of uh, the language models. And we're going to summarize the essence of these papers, we're going to try to do that using large language models, we're going to do that with GPT, and we're going to do that with Claude. So we're going to use the open AI models, and also the anthropic models. Uh, I want to show you how to do that. And for this, we're going to need a bunch of uh, packages here on our system. So let's zoom in here a little bit. So you can see this better. We're going to start by installing the following packages. First of all, Python, dash dot n for want to use this because I'm going to load the API keys from a dot n file, which I already have in this directory. Um, we're going to also use a lang chain, we're going to use lang chain dash community, we're going to use lang chain dash open AI, and we're going to use lang chain uh, dash anthropic. So just run this, make sure everything is installed. Actually, community now was downloaded here. So I think there was an update. Uh, hopefully this doesn't destroy my code that I've prepared. But these are the packages that we're going to need. Now what you also need is the API key. So how do we get an API key, you just go to the open AI API. Here, you can just create a new secret key, you go to settings, you go to API keys, create a new secret key, copy it for anthropic similar, you go to console, you go to settings, you go to API keys, you create a key, you copy it. That's the basic thing. And how you get this now into your code is you create a file called dot env. So dot env like this. Um, and I'm going to now create a different file, let's call it dot env2. In this file, what you want to do is you want to create an open AI API key uh, variable, and you want to set it to your API key, whatever it is. And you want to do the same thing for anthropic API key. Again, some stuff, and then you want to save this and then we can get started with our code. And our code is going to be actually not too comprehensive. So we're going to open up a main.py file, I'm going to start by saying import OS, because we want to get environment variables, I'm going to import um, actually from dot env, I want to import load dot env. And then we want to import the lang chain related stuff. So we want to say, from lang chain, we want to import from the chains, from chains summarize, we want to import the load summarize chain. So this is basically a pipeline that will uh, summarize our text, I'm going to explain in a second, um, what we're going to do here exactly, then we're going to say also from LangChain community, um, I want to or actually from LangChain community document loaders. Uh, I want to import PI PDF loader, this is going to allow us to load the PD, uh, the, the PDF document and to um, to split it into chunks. And then we're going to also say from LangChain open AI, I want to import the chat open AI. So this is how it's done right now. Oftentimes, things are changed in LangChain. So maybe when you're watching this a year or two from now, this might have changed, the syntax might have changed. Uh, oftentimes, what you can do, though, is you can run the command open AI migrate. I'm not sure if it works with LangChain, but oftentimes it does work. Um, with open AI related code. So maybe you have some success with doing that. Uh, but what we want to do now is we want to load the API key. So we're going to say load dot env, this is going to load the keys from the dot n file into our environment. And then what we want to do is we want to, um, this is automatically going to be recognized by chat open AI. So I don't think we need to specify this. Uh, but we're going to define a function now summarize PDF and this function is going to just get a file path. 
Um, and if we want, you can also add a custom prompt. So let's just add it here as a uh, as something that can be done, I'm going to leave it empty by default, just so we have some more control over the process. And what we want to do in this function now is we want to load the PDF uh, document. So we want to say pi PDF loader, and we want to focus on the file path here. And then we want to load the PDF document as chunks, we want to split it into chunks. So we want to say here the documents, so the chunks are also documents, we want to say are equal to loader dot load and split. And this basically takes the PDF document and splits it up into manageable pieces. And what we do now is we summarize these manageable pieces, and then we combine them to a complete summary to a final summary. So we're going to say here, our large language model is going to be chat open AI, the temperature is going to be set to zero. So we don't want to make it crazy or creative. And the model name now you can choose whatever model you like, you just need to be aware that you pay for this. Um, and also that the newer models or the more advanced models are oftentimes slower. So if I do something like GPT 4.0, this works, but it will take more time than something like GPT 3.5 turbo. So just for the sake of speed here, I'm going to use GPT 3.5. 4.0 is probably going to give you better results. So consider using that if you have time. But for the video now, I want to use uh, 3.5 turbo. And now I want to do this um, summarization chain. So I'm going to say chain is equal to um, to load summarize chain. And I'm going to pass here the large language model. And then I'm going to say chain type equals map reduce. So the basic idea here is we're uh, mapping the summarization. So we're summarizing the individual uh, chunks that we have the individual documents, and then we're reducing them together, we're merging these summaries into a final summary. That's like the high level explanation of what's going on here. And the resulting summary is just going to be the chain invoked onto the documents. Actually, I don't know why I had this custom prompt here. Let's just get rid of this. Um, so I'm going to return the summary here in this case, and then we're just going to run this in a main section. And uh, we're going to say that our we want to summarize our attention is all you need documents. So attention dot PDF, not by PDF loader dot PDF, there you go. And I want to print then that the summary is the following. And then just summary. And to be precise, we're going to get a JSON object. And from this JSON object, we want to have the output underscore text. That's going to be the raw text of the response. So if everything was done correctly, we can now run this Python three main py and it's hopefully going to give us uh, a summary of that. Now, while we're doing that, we can adjust the code to also work with um, with clot, so with anthropic. And for this, we're going to jump into the same directory that we're coding that we were coding in. And we're going to uh, copy now the main and we're going to copy it to main clot py. Now we do have a result here. So let's take a look at that. Um, it says the paper by this guy introduces the transformer model, which utilizes attention mechanisms for sequence modeling and transduction, transduction tasks outperforming traditional models and machine translation, and so on and so forth. So we have here the gist of the paper just giving us uh, a broad summary of what this paper is about. Um, summarized into like, two, three, four sentences, something like this. Uh, now let's see if we can also get such a summary for the other one new PDF. Let's run this. And while we're doing that, let's um, rewrite the whole thing now for Claude. For this, all we need to do is we need to change the model, obviously. So we're going to say main Claude py. What I want to do here is instead of from Langchain open AI importing chat open AI, I want to say from Langchain uh, anthropic, I want to import the chat anthropic. And uh, then I just want to replace chat open AI with chat anthropic, temperature zero model name, of course, has to be changed as well to, for example, a fast model is three five haiku 
latest. And the rest, if I'm not mistaken, stays the same. So let's just save this and let's just run this. Python 3 main Claude py. Let's also see now what we have here. This study introduces a data efficient framework for learning path personalization in MOOCs using a pre trained recommender system with reinforcement learning. It formulates a problem as a mark of decision process and so on and so forth. So it gives us again, a high level overview of the paper. Um, let's see what Claude does. And let's see if probably I think there's a problem with the with the max chunk size or with a maxed uh, context window. I'm not sure about this. But we're going to see I think this takes a little bit longer than the GPT models. But in general, this is how you do that. And you can do the same thing also with local models, you can do it with llama if you have O llama running. Uh, basically, you just have to say from Langchain, was it Langchain O llama? Or was it Langchain community O llama? I'm not sure. Um, let me just see. Is it from Langchain? Actually, I need to create a Python file to be able to see that. So let's jump into this directory here again. Uh, oh, it starts downloading stuff. Interesting. So let's see if that is going to give us a result now. But basically, okay, let's first take a look at this. This is now a more lengthy summary. So we have here's a concise summary of the transformer paper The transformer is a novel neural network architecture for sequence transduction, and so on. And then key features include the model achieves state of the art performance. Actually, to be honest, this is a much better summary than what we got from GPT. So I want to run this again, uh, but also for the other file. But it doesn't surprise me that Claude outperforms GPT here. This is usually the case. Nowadays, at least wasn't like that in the beginning, in my opinion. Uh, but let's see if I can figure out I'm not going to code this here. But let's just say Olam py. I think it's from Langchain. Uh, yeah, we do have Langchain Olama. LMs import. Do we have some auto completion here? Olama LLM, probably something like this. Uh, just look it up. I'm sure you can find an easy way to do the same thing with your local large language models. But this is very useful because it gives you a quick start when you're looking for papers. Also, what you can do is, of course, you can automate this. So you can just uh, put a loop around it. You can say, for example, if you like Claude more, you want to use the summarize PDF function. So what you do is you just have a directory full of 20 files, or 30 files or 100 papers. And you just say for I in or for file in OS list there, and then all these PDF documents. And then what you do is you just summarize them, you get the summaries, you save them somewhere, and then you have very quick descriptions of the papers, and you don't have to open them, you don't have to read the abstract, you don't have to read the conclusion, you can just look at this small summary and see if it's relevant to your project or not. And that's it. I think that's a very useful thing. <clears throat> so let's see what we get here now as a response. Uh, a novel approach to personal personalizing learning paths and online education. And then we get again here, the uh, research focus, we get the methodological innovations, we get the distinctions, and we get also the results. So I think Claude does a very good job at summarization. And this is how you can easily summarize PDF documents in Python using large language models. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.